Hi guys, so today it's going to be a talk through makeup tutorial and I haven't actually done one of these types of videos in a while. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so to start off I actually have in the circle lenses the Twinkle Eyes series one and these ones are one day lenses and they're in Russian gray. So to start off this look we're going to do the skin first. So my usual skincare routine, I'm just going to use my um, concealers and use those all over my targeted areas and then work it out towards the rest of my face. So starting off I'm taking my Aretum, Aretum Full Cover Concealer in 02 Natural Beige. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that in a few dots under my eyes, in between my nose bridge, and then up in a triangle shape just around. And I got a pimple there, even though my skin has been so perfect lately, other than some scars. But I got one pimple, and I'm not too sure where it came from. Okay, so I just have that concealer there, and now I'm just going to go in with my Espoir Concealer in O2 Sand. And I'm just going to take that on my finger and just apply that to where my acne scars are. And just a little bit on that pimple there to cover it up. Okay, so now taking my beauty blender, I'm just going to go in and buff that all out into my skin. Now, some people may think this is like a really odd foundation routine or concealer routine just because I'm not applying it equally all over my face, but I think it is important to only cover the areas of your skin that aren't already okay. So if you have okay skin like all over the rest of your face, like around here, your whole forehead, your nose, your mouth area, wherever, if that area of your face is clear and lovely looking already, why are you going to hide it, right? You should accentuate those areas more so and then only be covering the areas that need a little extra help. So that's kind of my two cents in foundation. Like, trust me, I think foundation's great, but I think it's also important to flaunt what you have while you still can, in a sense. And I have a bit of a scab up there that I'm just going to pat away. So then the next step for me is powder on areas that I tend to get oilier or that I want bonus coverage. And here I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Foundation Powder in NC35, 25, NC something in that range. So that's just it right there. And I'm just going to take that with a kabuki brush and apply that to targeted areas of my face. So I usually go in and apply it to my cheeks. chin and of course forehead oh my baby hairs now I seriously love my studio fix powder love it I love it so much okay so t-zone area I don't really like to apply it here because I like having a bit of a glow throughout the day turn up there under my eyes I feel like it just makes me look a little bit healthier so I feel like when my whole face is matte, I kind of look sick almost. Okay, so that's it for my base makeup. So we're going to start with the eyes now before we do anything else with the face. Okay, so going into my Wow Wow palette, which is a Korean cosmetic brand. So I'm just going to pick up this rusty kind of orangey color from the palette, and I'm going to apply that all over my eyelids. And this is using my Velvet Beauty brush set from iMomoko. And I'm just using the dense medium sized shadow brush and just applying that all over my lid space and then I'm also going to pull it up into the crease mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so right now I kind of have just a rough outline all over my eyelid then I am going to go back into that same palette from before and I'm actually going to take this kind of a shimmery orange color and I'm only going to apply that to the center portion of my lid and I'm just going to use the opposite side of the brush that I was using before and just patting that right into the middle of my eye nowhere else I like this color because it's kind of like orangey, but it's shimmery. Well, it's not shimmery, it's frosted with like specks of gold glitter in it, which I think is really pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a little bit crazy with it. So taking this Three Eyes Concept Eyeliner Pencil in the color 
Orancia, 11 Orancia, that's an interesting name. So taking this, it literally is just an extremely vibrant orange color and I'm just going to apply this onto my lower lash line. Starting with it really close at the lashes and then just working it all the way across and making it a little bit larger at the end there. Oh, wow, that is orange. And I'm just connecting it to the color that we kind of put there before. Just like that. Okay, so now taking my tapered pencil brush from the same um, Velvet Beauty brush set, I'm just gonna go in and kind of blend that a little bit. I feel very pumpkin-y. So taking that same brush I was just using, I'm going to go into my one of my favorite MAC shadows, and this is Espresso, and I'm just going to pick up a bit of that color and start to use it as a transition shade in the outer corner of my eye. Well, not really a transition shade, I'm just using it to kind of darken that outer area a bit in my crease. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with my favorite color from MAC, and this is Omega. And I'm taking a fluffy blending brush from the Velvet Beauty brush set from iMomoko. I'm just picking that up, and it's gonna be my blending color. So I'm just gonna pop that there and just kind of start gently buffing out that upper section. And then a bit down there, because why not? And there, and just kind of all over the place. Okay, so for my inner corner, I'm just taking this brush by Must Have, which is just basically a small, flat shadow brush. And then going back into that eyeshadow palette, I'm just gonna be picking up this super shimmery kind of champagne color. And I'm just gonna get some of that on that brush, and then I'm just gonna pop that onto my inner corner. It is really sparkly. And might as well put some down there. So I'm gonna move on to the eyebrows now. So taking my, of course, staple eyeshadow Omega, I'm just gonna pick that up on a angled liner brush and I'm just gonna start filling in the sparse areas of my brows. So starting off with up there because my brow naturally just doesn't, isn't equal there. And then going into the tail and basically just doing my eyebrows like I normally do and then squaring it off a bit. And that's it for my brows. So now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. And I'm just gonna go into my Quo palette here and I'm just gonna pick up the highlighting color and get a ton of it on there. And just sweep that right under my brow bone to highlight. This color is just kind of like a really frosted off-white shade. Kind of like a cream, but not really. So I'm taking this Love Flow liquid pen eyeliner and I'm just going to line the upper portion of my eye. Making it thicker, a thick wing at the end because I like that. I don't like doing thin, thin wings. That's a big wing. And I really like to just kind of Put a little bit of liner right in that inner corner part. And then just pull it out a bit. I feel like that really kind of accentuates the like natural shape of your eye while making it look a bit longer. Just like that. Okay, so now that my eyeliner is done, we're going to move on to eyelashes. So I have a new all-time favorite mascara, and this is Lash King by Majork. Majolka Majorka. I always have such a hard time saying that. I don't know why. It's such a tongue twister. Majolka Majorka. Lash King. It's awesome. It really is Lash King. That make your lashes really, really, really long. And if you already have long lashes, kind of like I do, it's like magic. 
It's like that false eyelash look every day. It's the problem with having big lower lashes is that no matter what, you always get mascara on your lower lash line. Always. These Secret Star Girl lashes that I got from Bourjour Cosmetics. These are SS14 Delicate Lash. I think that's the number. They're Korean. Okay, so now that my lashes are all set, I'm just gonna go in and clean up any mascara smudges that happened because my eyelashes are too big. So I'm just going back into my usual MAC palettes. And I'm just taking this color that I actually don't use often. It's called Style, is that nine, what is that, 811 or 911? It's kind of worn off, but it's just kind of like an orangey color. And I'm just gonna take that on a small blush brush and I'm just gonna pat that onto the apples, of, well not the apples of my cheeks, but onto the cheekbone area. Focusing it more so up there and kind of just buffing it around. Okay, so let's finish off this look completely. So let's move on to the lips. Now there's two options. Just because we are a little bit heavy on the eyes, we can play up the lips really nude. So we can take 920 Nude Lust by Maybelline and just apply that all over our lips. I'll show you how it looks. And that kind of keeps the attention on the eyes. Or we can go head over heels with it with 955 Espresso Exposed and we can get real creepy and real, real dark. I love this color. Okay, so that's it for the look. As you can see, it's really extremely fall-oriented. Like, everything about this look is fall or Halloween or, you know, vampires. Either way, it's a really, really hardcore fall look. So if you're into wearing kind of bold colors, then this is definitely a look to try out. I highly recommend it. I'll post all the products used in the description box down below as per usual. And make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it. You can also request looks in the comment section down below because that will help me out. Otherwise, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh. Oh, before you go, make sure you do check out my other channel, my second channel, where I post all my Korean vlog videos of my life here in South Korea and things that I do. So do check that out if you want to see stuff about South Korea living. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my current morning skincare routine that is suited to...